I'm going to set the pork chops back in there. Am I doing that now? Okay, that one flipped upside down. But it's okay, it made it. It didn't hit the floor or anything. I thought, what should we have for dinner? Made it up in my head in the car on the way home. It just kind of whoops it right off. Holy cow, that looks amazing. And succotash. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Pork chops are coming out. Do, 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 do. We're waiting. Ow! 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 Oh my goodness, that hurt. Well, hi everybody, welcome back. It's already starting off fun. I just about whacked myself with my Instapot. Guess what we're doing today? Instapot, Instapot, Instapot. Instant pot, yes, instant pot saying that wrong too. I have a collaboration if you want to join my instant pot hashtag let's instant pot all one word. If you want to make a video with your instapot all you have to do is put hashtag let's instant pot in the title or the description and I'll add it to our ever-growing playlist. I tripped over the dog. My dog. Does your dog follow you around? My dog drives me nuts. So, what are we making today? I made up this creation in my head and I thought, let's try it in the Instant Pot and see if it works because sometimes my creations work and sometimes they don't work. They don't work? I don't know. I'll just name it something. But it's going to be pork chops. I'm cooking pork chops in my Instant Pot today. That's what I'm doing. First, we're gonna peel some potatoes because I like to do the one pot meal so you only have one dirty pot and that pot's gonna be the Instant Pot. So let's come over here to my handy dandy sink and I'm gonna peel some potatoes. You can watch me if you want. I'd appreciate if you watch me because, you know, why wouldn't you wanna watch me peel potatoes? See, look, I've got, I'm, I can only use this one. That's the only potato peeler, you know, the straight ones. I don't know how to use those. I really don't. It takes me twice as long. But this one is really nice. It just kind of whoops it right off. My mother has one of these, and the first time she used it, she sliced the end of her finger off, just about. She actually had to go get stitches. And I'm gonna put these in this bowl that's behind you. That's where they're going. These are some big, giant potatoes. No, I didn't grow my own potatoes. Didn't do that. Maybe next year I'll grow my own potatoes. I wanted to do it this year, like, in a bag. I watched a lot of videos on how to do that, but we didn't do that. We didn't have time to do that this year. We had a lot going on this year. And then we're going to peel some apples. I have a couple apples here that are just starting to go bad. I mean, they're still okay, I guess. See, in that brown spot? Watch. You just slice it right out of there with this thing. I don't even know what brand this is. It's an O something X. I don't know. I got the thing at Kohl's. My garden is doing nicely. I've got peppers coming up. I don't know. Did you guys watch us plant the garden? I forgot to label my plants, so we're starting to have pepper surprise. And I thought that I planted green peppers, but they're turning out to be Hungarian hot wax, which is okay. That's what I wanted, but I'm not I don't think I'm going to get any green peppers. I, I don't know. I'm not real sure. And our tomato plants, I'm getting a lot of aromas or Amish paste. I planted those. So those are coming up. I wanted some like tomatoes that I could eat on like a hamburger, like the big beefsteak ones. I thought I planted some of those. I don't know if I did now. I'll do better next year, maybe. See, they're just starting to get like I don't know. So we're gonna like peel these. Like, we're like gonna peel these. I hate peeling apples. This is my least favorite job in the world is peeling apples. Maybe I ought to get an apple peeler. It probably would make it a heck of a lot easier than this. There, we want them like this size, I think. Because I made this up in my head on my way home from my daughter's house. I thought, what should we have for dinner? Made it up in my head in the car on the way home. Had to do with pork chops in an Instapot with apples. I know that I'm losing a lot of, like, 
apple with the peel doing it this way i don't know any other way to do it but i'll be able to put that in my compost it's going back to mother nature so it all works out my daughter was here and wanted an apple she'd probably want me to peel it for her still to this day she's 30. yeah I'm, lo I'm losing a lot of apple in there that's okay it's going to the worms the worms will like it in the compost pile give them a new diet what else oh my loofah i'm gonna have quite a bit of loofah i think the plants are growing they're vining up they look fantastic the ants are loving them i have black ants climbing all over my loofah i don't know i i think i'm gonna like get some taro and put it there on like around the plant like the outdoor taro so i don't have so many that ended up to be really small I don't still have so many black ants feasting on my loofah. And we are going to try the loofah. We will be eating a loofah. Sounds strange, doesn't it? We're gonna eat the loofah. For all of you that were wondering, oh, the loofah sponge it comes from the ocean. No, it's a plant. You plant it, it grows. And then in the fall, the loofahs, they, they look like big zucchini. And you have to kind of wait till they're brown and they die on the, um, the branch then you pick them off but we're gonna eat the loofah before that stage once they start growing we'll pick a small one because you can eat those don't know what it's gonna taste like but we'll, we'll find out so stick around for that you want to watch me eat a loofah that might be interesting I should invite my parents over for dinner lap that night what are we having loofah <laughs> I should do that my very pretty lettuce. I should have picked it the day I said, oh, look how pretty my lettuce is because it's not pretty anymore. 90 degrees hit. I don't know what happened to the lettuce, but it went to pot. The lettuce is bad. So I was thinking to replant that, but I don't, I don't know if it's gonna do any good. But I cut the bad lettuce out and now there's new lettuce growing. So we're just gonna let that go and we'll see what happens. I don't know. Does lettuce grow like that? we'll find out i have a zucchini coming i have a nice size zucchini can't wait for that i hope no animal steals that it's not behind the fence so if an animal steals my zucchini i'm gonna be very disappointed i like to make stuffed zucchini with sausage so i'll be doing that and spaghetti sauce i really enjoy that so i'll be making that i guarantee you there's nobody here. i can guarantee it here, nothing here. Oh look. Nope. Nobody here. Nothing here. Nothing happening here, dog. So where was I? The zucchini. Oh, a deer ran through our yard the other night. Yesterday. My grandson spotted it. Not like our yard, the neighbor's yard. Big. It was a big deer. Again, there's nobody here. Hey, 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 get in here. Enough. Let's go. Come on. She's still barking. Real life here. Dog's still barking. I'm still peeling these daggone apples. I hate doing this. I am not a good apple peeler. What else? Oh, I have acorn squash. Didn't mean to grow that. Thought it was butternut squash. It wasn't butternut squash. Read the package and everything, or at the store. It was already a plant. We bought it, read it, read the steak. And I'm like, oh, butternut squash, yay! Brought it home to plant it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, this is acorn squash. What was I doing? I, I don't know. I was just so excited because I found thought I found butternut squash. One butternut. All right, one more apple here to go. We could make this. I'm already over this. Let's see. My husband's been working a lot of hours every day, and he's exhausted. So you haven't seen him lately? He like he's in bed by 7:30 now. That's just too soft. And he's just he's just exhausted. He gets up at four, and then it's a hot day at work, and he's a lot of hours, and he doesn't get home till five, hour after five, and I miss him. He's exhausted. Is that even worth? That's not even worth. I'm not even cutting that. One. Not even cutting that one. All right, over to the Instant Pot we go. Right. Instant Pot, pork chops, pork chops. We have pork chops. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna plug this thing in. 
Uh-oh. Make sure it's plugged in and up. See? In the back. It didn't go on there for a minute, and I'm thinking, what the heck is wrong with my instant pot? Had that problem once before. Wasn't plugged in in the back. Whoop. I love it when it makes that noise. All right, we're going to add some oil to this. I'm not going to measure. I'm dumping. Watch. About probably that much. That might have been a fourth of a cup. Still haven't read the book for those of you that are wondering. Probably not going to read the book either. All right, so I'm going to hit saute. Now it's set for 30 minutes, but I'm going to be right here with it because what we're going to do is just saute these pork chops. Let me go get a fork because I forgot that. We need the fork. We need the fork. So I'm going to put the pork chops in here and saute them to get them brown. I can only do two at a time, I guess. Now I have gooey fingers, but here, see, we're just sauteing. We're going to salt this a little bit, just a little bit, and I have the pink salt that's stuck. Not anymore. Just a little, not a lot. Now we're going to wait for this pan to heat up. So it sautés. It's starting to bubble in here. We're just waiting, waiting for the Instapot to get hot. Starting to bubble, we'll look again. We're just sauteing and I probably have too much oil in there, but that's okay. Because remember, this is a conglomeration I made up in my head. So it's got to be good, right? I, I would say it's got to be good. We could do that do, 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 I've got these two already done sauteing. Now, along with this fantastic pork chop meal I'm making, I'm going to have this triple succotash. I've never had this before, but I thought it looked interesting and it's different. I wanted something different for dinner, so I thought, why not try the triple succotash? This is sticking. There's oil in the... Why is this sticking? There we go. This is almost done. And then we can move on, carry on with this. Right. Now let's finish this fantastic recipe. I did dump out the rest of the oil. I had the excess oil. I did dump that out into my garbage can. And I melted a few things, I suppose. I don't know. But to the bottom of this, it's got still that brown in it. I'm going to add some chicken broth in the bottom of it. Woo! Probably that much. No, probably a little more. See? That's probably good. There might be like a cup and a half in there. I don't know. Don't know. I just dumped. And then, to that, get that out of the way, I'm going to set the pork chops back in there. Am I doing that now? Yes, I am. Remember, this is all in my head, so we're just making it up as we go. So I'm going to layer these pork chops in here. Layer those right back in there. Might have too much liquid in here, but you know what? As I said, we're just making it up as we go. And then I have this hickory bacon by Pit Boss. Got it at the grocery store. It smells like bacon. <laughs> yeah, it smells like bacon and hickory. Sorry, but it does. It smells like bacon bits that are hickory. All right, we're going to put this all over these pork chops. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Local grocery store, you might have it. A bakery, or a bakery, a hickory, I read both words together, hickory bacon. All right, so then on top of that, these are the onions that I dehydrated. Oh, I just love these. I did, oh, those smell so good. I did plant some more. I planted some more. So we're just going to sprinkle some of these in here. Maybe some more. This is going to be so good, I promise. Maybe I should have, well, anyway. We have potatoes to go in there yet. I forgot all about the potatoes. So we're going to put those in. We're going to take out the pork chops that we put in here. Because I think I want the potatoes on the bottom. Learn from my mistakes. Pork chops are coming out. And then the potatoes are going to go in. But that's okay. Oh, geez. Okay, that one flipped upside down. 
but it's okay it made it. it didn't hit the floor or anything let me tell you this does smell good so now we've got the liquid left and I'm gonna put my potatoes cut up in here I need a knife knife, knife. so I'm just gonna cut them maybe like that size so I know that they'll get done and with the instant pot you want to have everything just about the same size so it gets equally done sounded pretty smart there didn't I wonder how many faces I've made cutting these up because I think I'm cutting them with the muscles in my face all right we might have too many potatoes but that's okay too because we could use them as leftovers and they'll still be good my husband can take them in his lunch one more which we we may have to add more chicken broth to this we'll have to see all oh, the potatoes are cut the same size all right then we're gonna just put the potatoes that we cut up carefully in here because there's liquid in here already don't forget and give that a stir oh if you guys could smell this you would really you'd be, if you could smell this you'd want to be here for dinner I already know Holy cow, does this smell good. Probably ought to salt them a little bit. They are potatoes, so we'll salt them a little bit because potatoes do take salt. So this is what we have so far. We have the potatoes in there, that hickory, and then some chicken broth. Maybe I'll just add a little more just for the heck of it. It smells good in there. Yeah only just a little bit we're gonna put the pork chops back on here now and I, I'm gonna have to re hickory this one because when it flopped over all the hickory fell off so we're just gonna cut coat this one both sides again local grocery store hickory seasoning now here comes the fun part on top of that let me show you we've got this so far that's what we have I'm gonna add apples on top of this this is going to be so good. Just put the apples right on top of the pork chops. Now I was thinking about adding a little bit of brown sugar on top of this, which I might do not a lot now, just a little. Just enough to coat the apples a little bit. Look at that. One pot meal, other than the vegetables, we're doing good, which we probably could have added some vegetables in here too, like carrots or something. And you could have a whole, just one pot. I'm gushing this down. I'm going to add a little brown sugar, too. Oh, my gosh. This smells so good. This creation I made up in my head is, like, probably going to be the bomb, let me tell you. Just enough to coat the apples just a little bit. Sometimes I just amaze myself. I do. Sometimes I just amaze myself. Now look at this. Holy cow. That looks amazing. Okay, now I'm going to put the lid on this. My husband should be home from work very soon. That's fun. Okay, I'm done now. So we're going to put the lid on here. And we're going to make sure it's on um, the not vent one. Now I'm going to cook this when he gets home, which is going to be soon. So we're just going to let this sit here for probably like 20 minutes or so and let the juices marinate in the pork chops and it's going to be so good. And then when he gets home, I'll be back. All right, the husband's home. I watered the garden and just found out that I lost my sunflowers to something. Not real happy about that. Not all of my sunflowers, half of them, but I'm sure they'll come back hungry whatever it was it was something tall it had to be the deer the deer probably got my sunflowers I'm making bread so that's rising I wish it would be a little taller but it's okay we'll go with it that size because we're gonna eat soon I'm gonna stick that in the oven in a minute look at that oh boy does that smell good so anyway we are gonna put this on something what are we gonna put this on pressure cook for let's go 10 minutes turn it so it doesn't bend I don't have my glasses on. I can't see which one is which. And I think I have the right one. I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right. Well, we're just going to let this sit here and do its thing. And we'll be back when dinner's ready. All right. Well, we're back. And this is done. It's vented for 
25 minutes. So I'm going to open the lid. For, well, I'm going to push the venti thing. I have my venti stick. My, I still have my stick. A couple videos back, I went and got my stick off a tree or out of the wood pile. So I'm going to use this to release the release the steam in here. If there is any, there really shouldn't be much of any. But just in case. Oh, there's some. And I still jump. Figure that one out. Let me put my stick back so the dog doesn't get it. Also, let me show you my bread. The bread is done. And I've decided that we're going to have succotash. I opened it and it's gross, but we're having it anyway. It, it just looks gross. Like, it's a tomato-y bean thing. I don't know. We'll see how that goes over. We're going to let this vent. It's still venting. I probably could unplug it. Again, the dog is barking, whining. Can't shoot a video without the dog making some kind of racket. Can't do that, no. Nope. This is almost done. This is done venting. Open it, facing away from you, because, oh, wait till you see in here. Hold on, let me go put this down. I told my husband, I'm like, you know, wait for dinner tonight. You're gonna love this. How cool is that? It looks good. It smells good, so that's a plus. So, let's get some food out of here. Let's see. Oh, pork chops are super tender. Boy, these are tender. Look at that. The apples are on top. They look good. Potatoes are done, I can tell. Ooh. My husband's going to like dinner tonight. The succotash, probably not so much. I'm not going to like that. I don't know why I even bought that. That's like disgusting. Disgusting. Okay, well, here you go. My creation. Now, I have hashtag Let's Instant Pot. If you want to make a recipe and add it to the playlist, just put dripping liquid all over me. Hashtag Let's Instant Pot in the title or somewhere in the description and I'll add it to our playlist. Look at that. My creation. Apples, pork chops, potatoes, and succotash. Alright, we're going to go eat. If you like my video, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.